Hi Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. So this is going to be your love and spirituality reading for the month of December. And this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I'm also going to be doing an extended video for this reading. So make sure you check that out when you're done. And it will be in the description box down below. So earlier when I was meditating on your energy, I felt a little bit heavy, like heavy energy, kind of chaotic energy. Um, I actually got on Twitter and I tweeted, um, Aquarians, can y'all chill out? Because <laughs> it's really difficult um, to do your reading because the energy was just kind of all over the place. But on top of it being all over the place, it felt kind of closed. Ooh, three of swords in reverse. So on top of it being all over the place, it felt kind of closed off. So that could be happening because of some type of heartache that you endured. But with it being in the reverse, that means that you are coming out of it. Um, it actually can mean that you're coming out of the heartache or it could also mean that you're trying to suppress it. So make sure that you're not doing that. Make sure that any pain that might be coming to the surface, that you're allowing it to come up so that then it can, it can be released and you can purge it from your system. And it makes sense that I'm picking up on this energy because we are at the end of the year. And usually this is the time where where everyone is reflecting on uh, 2018, reflecting on everything they've been through in the past year. So it can be a bit triggering and it can bring up old wounds. Not to mention, we are still in the Mercury retrograde currently. So that's known to bring around old energy. But um, as painful as that is, it gives you an opportunity to really see how far you've come. And it also gives you an opportunity to clear out any emotional wounds or baggage that you've been carrying with you throughout this entire year because you don't want to step into the new year with that type of energy. So just allow those feelings to come up and allow yourself to purge them. So let's pull two from the past. I'm actually going to put the three of swords back in the deck. Okay, Aquarius. So let's pull two for your past position. Sun card in reverse. The three of cups in reverse. Okay, and the magician is at the bottom of the deck. So this is the past position. I feel like most Aquarians have been stuck in this energy for the past year, for all of 2018, um, possibly in 2017 too, because that was a heavy year. And a lot of that energy carried over into 2018 and we're finally getting rid of it, thank God, for the upcoming year. So in the past, um, you're coming up at the sun cart in reverse. So that talks about um, being slightly depressed. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of you could have been sick, um, your physical health kind of t deteriorating. I'm hearing that some of you could have been in a situation, possibly a love situation, but it could be any, it could be anything, honestly. Um, but whatever the situation was, it just wasn't in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing. So some of you have discovered your life purpose this year. Um, and some of you are trying to move in, in the direction that your soul is kind of calling you to move in, but you were still holding on to something that wasn't in alignment with that. Um, so whatever was taken out of your life in 2018, it's, it was because it wasn't it, this thing or this person is not meant to be with you on your journey. And it was not feeding your soul. Instead, it was taking from you and it was draining you. The Three of Cups in the reverse talks about being drained, talks about all your happiness. Um, just kind of leaving you. I'm hearing that a lot of you, you figured out what you want to do with your life or you have an idea of which direction you want to go in. But like I said, you were feeding a situation that was draining you to the point where you, could, you couldn't make any proper steps forward. So for a lot of you, that meant that the divine source whatever you believe in, had to step in and kind of remove things from your life, which made you feel even more depressed and even more drained. But these things had to be removed from your life because they were literally sucking the life out of you. And they were making it impossible for you to manifest the life that you want. So the Magician card is here in the reverse and the Eight of Cups is here in the reverse. So that talks about you not being able to walk away, you thinking about how much energy and effort you put into certain situations and just not wanting to leave that behind. Even if that means that you're suffering you still didn't want to leave it behind because that's whatever the situation was that's what you were familiar with for some of you I feel like I mentioned this in your last video and last month's reading um, for, so, for some of you this isn't, isn't just a specific person or situation this could be a life cycle like all of your life you could have operated a certain way um, and it's like this year you were kind of 
it's like it was you exposed yourself to yourself this year that's what i'm hearing it's like a lot of your habits or a lot of the things that you take part in they go against you instead of actually helping you to grow and move forward but because you're so comfortable with those patterns or with that dysfunction you have a hard time walking away from it and that goes for any human being that's not really a sign of weakness um it's all about conditioning it's like once our mind has been conditioned with a certain idea and it's been beaten to our heads over and over and over it's hard to walk away from it so that could that could mean I'm trying to figure out what I'm hearing that could mean for example if you are the type of person that has kind of a low self-esteem so you tend to gravitate towards partners who don't treat you well and who kind of validate what you already think about yourself that you're not worthy of love or that you're not deserving of love then that pattern wants to come to an end like that cycle wants to come to an end and that's why this year has been so painful for a lot of you and that's why you came across certain people or certain situations in order for you to really get to shine a spotlight on those patterns and those woundings that were keeping you stuck Stuck. so just look at 2019 as like a fresh slate or like um a new beginning and we still have to get through december so now is the perfect opportunity to start building new habits to start reprogramming your mind with new thoughts about yourself and really starting to see things from a higher perspective not just seeing all the things that have happened as you know things that are against you or it's so painful because i had to walk away from certain situations or certain people um it all was for your highest good because you not being able to walk away was literally keeping you stuck and keeping you from manifesting the things that you want and the things that you deserve. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, let's pull for the present. I'm also hearing that for some of you, you were involved with a person who you thought was a close friend to you, but they were actually an undercover, undercover enemy. And for some of you, you're aware of this because this person has left your life and they have really showed you exactly what their true colors are. Um, and it was difficult for some of you to see this person's true colors. Um, this could have been someone that you were dealing with when you were um, younger, like this could be a childhood friend, or this could just be someone who you continuously went back to. Um, it could be someone who's mirroring your inner child wounding. Like I was saying before with the example of feeling like you're not worthy of love, this could be someone who basically was reflecting that very thing back to you. And you didn't realize that this person was an enemy instead of a friend, so you're still needing to recover from that. And this person was purposely trying to hold you back for some of you. And I feel like if that resonates, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't think this is something that's you or something that you would be shocked to hear, but that person just had to go. That person or that situation because it was literally blocking your path and it was on purpose. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a narcissistic individual who was possibly jealous of you or jealous of your dreams, your plans, or your upcoming success and was constantly trying to tear you down in a very sneaky, malicious way. So, yeah, leave that person in 2018. They're done. And if any of you have that type of energy around you or your intuition is telling you that someone is um, just not supportive or if they're jealous of you in some way, you, you can tell. Like your intuition does not lie to you and that's a person that you may need to leave behind because that person, gosh, it's a lot of messages come through. That, that person, um, they don't believe in their abilities to get to where they want to be in life. They don't believe in their abilities to level up or to chase their dreams or to start a new career or to start a new family. They don't believe in themselves. So this is someone that because they don't believe in themselves, they want to keep you down on their level as well. And this could be, like I said, a romantic partner, a friend, family members. Um, this could be on social media. If you're active on social media and there's been people just coming at you and just saying things to try to tear you down. Um, it's all a test. It's all a test. And you're meant to level up despite the fact that you've been going through this. So do not worry. You're almost done. You almost passed the test. Um, so if this energy comes around, just think of it as a chance and an opportunity to grow. So let's pull for the present. Okay, Aquarius, the Four of Swords. 
and the seven of wands in reverse okay so the four of swords talks about you not being able to find inner peace you not being able to find your center and not just just not being able to fully align with what you're meant to do it's like when your mind is racing too much or you have too many things going on at once there are too many issues in your external environment and so you cannot find that inner peace and then when you can't find that inner peace it's like you don't know which direction to go from there so i feel like this is coming from the seven of wands energy so the seven of wands in reverse energy is talking about how you don't really think that you can stand up for yourself or go against the people who are going against you hmm. i feel like that's for a specific person i do feel like some of you or it could just be one of you because energy is like slight that i'm picking up um it's like stepping onto this new path and moving in a new direction and there being people who are against you in some way and because of this you're having a hard time finding inner peace and you're having a hard time moving forward or making that decision to move forward hmm interesting for some of you though the seven of wands represents your lack of boundaries or not feeling like you have the ability to set those boundaries so this could very well do with that person that I was talking about in the past position that doesn't want to see you do well in some way. You could be having a hard time cutting them off or setting a boundary. Like they could be trying to push their way back into your life and it's making you feel very um, unstable. Like it's making you feel very unsettled is what I'm hearing. But for those of you who that doesn't apply to, I feel like this is just you being afraid of leveling up. Because what I'm getting for the Seven of Wands energy, it's like someone who's meant to be in the spotlight in some way or someone who's meant to do great things, but they play very small because they are afraid of the criticism or they're afraid of the backlash. You know, it's like being afraid of reaching this new, like these new heights is what I'm hearing. And that could be why you were involved in these toxic cycles and you couldn't walk away. For some of you, it's self-sabotage. Like you're staying in those toxic cycles as a form of sabotaging yourself so you won't have to level up and step onto this new path because it's scary to grow and to become the person that you know you're destined to be or to take the steps to work on being the best version of yourself. It's scary because there's always that probability of failure. So if you don't try, then you could just always say, okay, well, yeah, I didn't get where I wanted to be in life, but I didn't try, so it doesn't matter. But then if you do try and put your energy and effort in and you fail, then that would be a horrible feeling. So you'd rather just play it small and not even try. And that just, that's not going to work for you. <laughs> in the month of 2019, that's not going to work. For, I mean, in the year of 2019, sorry, that's not going to work for you. Because some of you are really destined to do really big things and really great things. Some of you are destined to be in the public eye in some way. And you can no longer play it small. And you know you can't play it small anymore because you know that it's like an internal knowing like you just don't feel good you don't feel happy you don't feel energetic about life you don't feel positive and that's because you are not following your soul path or you're not following your higher calling and what you're meant to be doing like you're not following your passions you're playing it small is what i'm seeing this could also apply to love is what i'm hearing you could be settling a lot for people um dating certain people or entertaining certain people that you know that it's not really going to go anywhere or you know they're not your type but you could just be settling because you feel like you're not going to find anything better or you're settling because you just feel like like you just want companionship especially if you are someone who went through that three of swords energy that heartbreak energy you could just be wanting companionship and so you're settling for just any old body so i wouldn't advise that either um especially if it's disturbing you internally with this four of swords so okay this is a lot <laughs> i hope this reading is not confusing you let's move on to the future outcome yeah this is a lot this is a lot of prayers. i'm also getting that for some of you you're wanting someone to put their guard down and it's causing you a disturbance within because you want this person to open up to you and they're just not doing it. Be very careful of that because being with that type of person can actually cause you to start to feel blocked off and jaded. So be very, be very careful 
the moon card and the knight of wands popped up so in the month of december be very mindful of people who are trying to come into your life too quickly people who are trying to rush a connection with you in some way because i feel like a person like that is hiding something or it's like a twitter post that i wrote when i said that when someone tries to rush into your life too soon or they try to push a connection it's because they want you to be so attached to them that whenever you do see their real colors or their true or their mask falls off and you see their true colors it's like you're so hooked and addicted to them it won't matter so usually this person has an agenda um it could be someone who's manipulative or abusive but it could also be someone who is just codependent and so they don't they don't think that they are worthy so they try to rush into connections just in case like just in case they see that i'm you know defective in some way or that there's something wrong with me even though most times there's nothing really wrong with the person um it's all subconscious programming um so in the month of december be careful of that also be careful if you are that person if you're that person who as of right now you're not feeling good about yourself you're feeling down on yourself and you feel like you want to rush into situations really stop and ponder why that is because most of the time um, like I said before, that's because you are not feeling like the best version of yourself. You're not feeling good enough. You feel like inherently there's something wrong with you. So you feel like you have to hop into these situations quickly before this person or for, before any person gets to see the real you. And it's not always conscious. Sometimes it's done subconsciously. You may not even realize that you're doing it. You could just feel like, oh, I just have a really strong pull towards this person. I have a really strong connection with them. That's why I'm rushing into it. But a lot of the times, like I said, it's this subconscious programming of wanting to quickly attack attach and latch on one as a distraction from your real life from your everyday life and problems but two so that this person doesn't have time to see you for who you really are so be very mindful of that energy in the month of december if you're feeling that way then um you possibly just need to take some time off from dating in general or make sure that when you do date it's very casual and make sure that you're spending a lot of time getting to know yourself um getting to love yourself admiring your strengths admiring who you are so that when you do jump back into the dating pool you You'll feel comfortable with taking things slow because you won't feel like you have to dive in before they discover that something's wrong with you you know and for those of you who have been getting into connections in order to escape from your everyday life um that's going to be coming to a close as well or to come to a close um the five of cups is at the bottom of the deck so that talks about grieving so if you do need to grieve then you need to just go ahead and do that don't try to suppress it by jumping into other relationships or possibly using sex to mask the things that have been going on um you need to feel that that pain or you need to feel those feelings that you have stop trying to block them out and escape from them because once you do feel those feelings and allow yourself to then you grow into the full card so you go from grieving to the full card and the full card is someone who has a fresh clean slate and i feel like this is how you can step into 2019 if you choose to take the month of december to really purge and clear out any toxic or negative energy that has been sitting within you um don't try to escape it or don't try to distract yourself because you're going to bring that energy right into 2019 into the new year so the seven of swords and the ten of pentacles also came up in the future position and i'm actually going to uh clarify these ones i'm going to read these cards in the extended video because my camera's about to die and this reading is already up to 18 minutes <laughs> so i'm going to clarify these in the extended usually what this is talking about is coming out of a time of deception or a time of um, possibly an illusion okay sorry my phone rang so like I was saying, the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles coming out in the reverse usually talks about coming out of a time of deception or leaving someone who was deceptive to you in the past, um, even if that means cutting off a long-term commitment. But again, I'm going, to, I'm going to read these and clarify these in the extended. So I hope that this was helpful, Aquarius, and I will leave the link to the extended video down below. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you over on Vimeo.